It's the Magic 97 Morning Show and time for the Mayor Chat with Swift Current Mayor Jared Schaefer. Uh, the mornings after City Council, as we always do, roll out the red carpet on the Magic Morning Show and uh, and have you in here. How's things, Jared? Good. Happy to be here. It's uh, a little dark getting up. Uh, that's not so fun, but uh, other than that, yeah, things are going well. Yeah, the days are getting shorter. What, what can you and City Council do about that? We're, Daylight uh, savings time just for Swift Current? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe one day. <laughs> Maybe next term. That's a, something we can tackle. Fair enough. Uh, how was the summer for you? It's been. It seems like forever since we've uh, we've had one of these chats. Yeah, you know what? Summer was really good. It was busy. Uh, certainly, lots going on for me personally, and uh, you know, there's been lots going on uh, in the city. And uh, I don't know. Summer just seemed to fly by, and uh, I've had some good fortune to do a little golfing lately, so that's been fun. But uh, city looks great. We've had actually lots of compliments on how clean the city looks, and I always want to mention uh, Richard, who takes care of all the flowers and stuff around the city. He's done a great job this summer. Actually, all the the Rec and Parks department that are out uh, making the city look beautiful, they've done a great job, and we actually get lots of compliments coming into City Hall. Being email from people that have spent the weekend here and things like that so i'm not sure if you'd know this but but what time does richard's day start because we're driving to work at the radio station at 5 a.m and he's out watering the flowers along central avenue like that guy puts in a shift yeah he you know very dedicated but uh you know what the the proof is in the pudding i mean the everything looks beautiful right i think uh you know, we're fortunate we've got some of the nicest planters in the city because he's taking care of them. So, Jared, uh, I know locally at Great Plains College uh, last week, one of the top stories was the new nursing program there. Uh, from the mayor's perspective, you know, uh, what are your thoughts on that and uh, and what it's like to have that in Swift now? Well, I mean, for starters, and I, I think uh, it's important to emphasize that that's incredibly important. Uh, you know, in order for us to be a growing and thriving community, I think a, a growing post-secondary education uh, uh school is is vital in that uh, it, it's an option for our kids to stay here uh, it can attract uh, young people in the, to take programming at our, our school and eventually they can end up staying here so you know what uh, hats off to Great Plains College uh, the last several years obviously they've been uh, incredibly active at trying to grow their list of programs they've got that significant expansion there and that's vitally important for our community and I'm really thankful that uh, as a college they're so proactive in going out and working with other you know the University of Regina in this case and, and having that here that's a huge feather in the cap of our community you know you talk about growing the community and and i know that it's growing in ways like there's a lot happening out at monroe industrial park there the integrated facility and the schools are happening what about people actually moving to swift currents and residential and and things of that nature are you noticing any sort of growth there movement you know what it's actually been uh, great uh, the last couple of weeks i've been popping uh, into city hall and uh, signing transfers or or having meetings and stuff like that and uh, you know what in the last three weeks i'm i'm sure i've signed probably between eight and 10 residential lot transfers so that means uh, obviously people are coming in buying a lot and uh, getting ready to either build something on spec or build something for themselves so uh, i mean it's great to see uh, lots of interest out in the uh, in the northeast where the uh, the new subdivisions are 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 being built now and uh, are continuing to have services put in and of course the two new schools that are going out there and uh, uh, the personal care home that's well underway yeah and and just going out there it's quite amazing to see how far constructions come on the the integrated facility and the schools yeah the the schools are great and uh, I mean they're going to be first first class facilities we actually just had a good chance to have a quick catch up with uh, our friends at uh, Chinook school division here in the last couple of weeks but uh, it's going to be an exciting time uh, uh, to see those two new schools coming. Uh, obviously, uh, the city continues to work with the health region and the province. Uh, looking forward to an announcement on long-term care. And then uh, the biggest thing for us on city facilities is, uh, uh, you know, I'm often asked, you know, is what's still going out there? Is the library still going out there? And the reality of it is, is uh, the government of Canada announced uh, infrastructure funding coming in 2014. It would be our hope that the provincial government will will piggyback that again so that it's you know, three levels of government working together to build uh, build out across the country. And uh, if we have the opportunity uh, to work with the private sector as well as uh, government to, to have some city facilities out there, that's going to be uh, just a beautiful corner of, uh, of our community. Right on. The, the crown jewel of any dynasty is always the arena. And, uh, you know, what's new with the IPLEX? Uh, any news there? Anything uh, happening? Yeah, for sure. You know what? We, uh, in, in the budget this year, we had to include uh, another expansion onto the IPLEX because uh, um, it, it we're simply out of storage room there. Uh, obviously, people will notice uh, uh, the Redneck Betty's organization had purchased some temporary seating for the curling rink. Uh, we were given a temporary floor to, to go over the ice so that uh, in the winter, the IPLEX is truly a multifunctional facility. It's not just a rink. 
think uh, it can be covered for for other things uh, but it's just sitting out in the elements getting exposed we've tried to cover it obviously it doesn't look very good so uh, a building is going to be going up there on the um, the southeast corner uh, to enhance storage and, and whatnot um, and you know what it's a it continues to be a good lesson you know we uh as we were talking beforehand, the, the IPLEX expansion at the time was a bit of a political hot potato. There was lots of concern about debt and how much money we were spending on this and uh, this, that, and the other thing. And, uh, you know, we made a lot of cuts to try and get that to a number that was palatable for the community or that we thought would be politically okay. And, um, you know, lots of pressure from the community as well. And by not doing things uh, probably as good as we could have right at the time, we ended up getting a grant from the government. But since then, in every budget we've had, we've been putting things back into the IPLEX that we cut out at at higher prices so good lesson Uh, you know what do things right the first time and uh, um, you know you don't have that but it's going to be good to have that storage for sure what's up for the rest of the day today Uh, not too much you know what i think uh, we actually have a a little team it's going to be an interesting uh, interesting site Uh, myself and uh, our deputy cao tim marcus everybody knows tim and our cao susan motkaluk we are the city team in the uh, Dr. Noble Irwin Healthcare Radiothon uh, Run for Awareness on October 3rd. Yes. So we've got some training to do. Okay. <laughs> Hitting the treadmill or <laughs> maybe running through Swift Current in gray sweatsuit, Rocky Balboa style. Uh, absolutely, yeah. Right on. Run up the steps to the courthouse and do the Rocky Balboa celebration. We'll, uh, we'll look forward to that today, man. You betcha. So just, you know what, we're, uh, we're open to pledges. We're trying to help uh, the foundation raise money. So if anybody wants to help out this team, uh, phone down to City Hall and, uh, and, and pledges, please. Right on. Hey, thanks a bunch, Jared. Thanks, Ryan. This fall.